Did you know that our community got an upgrade so that now you can learn about Power Apps and share Power Apps with others on the go from your mobile device? Yes, we're fully responsive and we are fun to browse on your phone. So you'll be able to learn Power App tips anywhere you go and you'll also be able to share these examples with your clients. So I took a little video on my phone just to kind of show off some of these new features. For instance, you'll start when you log in, you'll start up here at the top where you'll see the little uh, hamburger. Click on it once and then well, tap on it once, then tap on community, and then you'll see all of the community features. My favorite is galleries, so I'm going to show you that today, but check out the other ones too. Once you get into the galleries, you'll see the three galleries that we have. The communities apps gallery, where community members will be adding their apps. That means their MS app files so that not only can you learn about apps that have been made for others but you'll also be able to download those apps and use them then we have a community video gallery with all the community members videos that they've contributed and boy do we have a lot of great content from our community and then lastly we have live events and webinars where Microsoft content that has been pre-recorded is shown there so I kind of kind of show you a little bit about the video gallery, but I tell you, all of this is so much fun to browse on the phone. And notice the likes that we're getting and the comments that we're getting. And obviously the community video gallery is the most popular when it comes to video content. So let's take a look at that video gallery and notice when you roll in there, you basically see tons of videos. I mean, I don't, I've lost count. And these are by experts in Power Apps. So these are people who are both passionate and talented in using Power Apps. Brian Knight has been contributing lately quite a bit. Thank you, Brian. Brian's videos are a lot of fun. You'll also find um, loved ones like Shane and Paul there. If you click on the very top, you'll notice that we have top kudos because we want you to kudo these videos right here so we can see the ones that you like the best. So you'll be able to hit the thumbnail, the thumb, I'm sorry, the little thumbs up to like a video. And the more likes we get, the more top kudos we get. Now the top kudo people will actually end up being inserted into our documentation. So you'll get the you'll get the opportunity to collaborate with us by showcasing your videos within our different docs, right? So there'll be links. I love that just recently one of our community members, Croon Office Saul, hope I pronounced that right, put a whole video on optimizing load performance. Wow. I am so grateful for videos of quality like that. Um, and so you'll get lots of ideas on doing different things in the community just by looking at some of these videos. Really awesome. Now I'm going to come back here in a minute, but let's take a look at the Microsoft live events. Now these are more structured events. And so they have consistent thumbnails, right? It's all, um, it's basically all internal post, right? And we try to kind of color code them. So the canvas vase are these, this deep color right here. But if you fall into a model driven type of video, it'll be blue. Now, if you're not big on big on um, blue and purple, then you'll just note that we have actually exposed what type of video is and what level it is and what the topic is right there in the image. So you can see that this is a model driven video. Notice that I can pinch the zoom and it's a beginner level. So beginners are welcome. And then the model driven um, uh, name in the middle. And so it's great. We have a lot of content. Now I just happened to double tap. So this works just like your regular phone works. So it's really fun to use. Notice that if you hit the filter button at the top, you can actually filter by level or by content type. We are working really hard to get a variety of content in here. So we have a lot of SharePoint users. If you select SharePoint in the filter, you notice that the SharePoint filters, uh, videos have a deep blue background. And it kind of makes it easy for you to visually find topics that fit within what you're doing. And so we're working to kind of 
organize these in ways that are important. Now, you'll expect to see a lot of MVPs in here because we might be interviewing them and they're contributing different things. Now, I want to go back to the community video because I forgot to show you the filter there. But it also has a filter, and you'll notice it has business process management, common data service, community tips and tricks, just all these tips and tricks from our communities. Anybody who's talking about using connectors can tag their video's connector series. So not just my connector series, but anybody. Anybody can post on design. How can we make design better? We're working hard right now with our user research and design team to add more design topics, and we're also working working with some pro developers for pro developer topics. If you are in one of those two categories, we really need your video content. We don't have a lot of pro developer topics and would love to hear from you if you make custom APIs or custom connectors. You can see the submit a video button, which is right at the top of each of these galleries. And so you can definitely submit your own video. And again, you might end up being a link directly from our Microsoft documentation in docs.microsoft.com. If your video gets enough hits or if your video is, is, is um, we get feedback on your videos that they're helpful. So target topics that are um, typical that you see in social media, you know, things that people want help with, or if you identify that some things might be missing here, go ahead and throw them in there. This is a pretty exciting space to be able to be anywhere and have your videos handy. I mean, you could even like be with your clients and say, oh, let me show you how you could actually do this, that, or the other thing. So here I'm just stopping the video because again, I made this entire video on my phone so that you would know how we do um, how we've uh, upgraded the community portal. So just simply go to community.powerapps.com, whether you be on your desktop, on your mobile device, on your huge Surface Hub, or on your mobile phone, and enjoy all the awesome content that everyone is collaborating on just to make you successful. I look forward to hearing your feedback on this, and I'll be talking to you soon.